everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to do an intuition art piece for you in a different style than my last two I'm going to be using the Windsor Newton watercolors and unfortunately I don't know the names of the colors this was my mom's set up sorry and she never made a list of what the paints were when she got the set so I have no idea and it's an older set as well I'm going to be using a number 16 and I'm hoping this isn't blurry I don't know it keeps looking kind of blurry to me so I apologize if it is uh, let me know down in the comments if you have any issues seeing this video and yeah it's a number 16 round brush by Princeton Heritage you can always use other brushes but I'm probably just going to use the one and then later on as I go I'm going to be using this white uniball pen that's white I guess paint white ink and then this precision marker it's an extra fine if I want to add lines and then I do have a little spray bottle with some water in it and some rubbing alcohol that I might shoot on this again this is an intuition piece so I create as I go I'm not sure what I'm going to end up with so that's why I say I might be using this I'll list the stuff or the uh, tools and supplies down below this paper is a, is a mixed media you can use whatever paper you have available to you I just don't want you to go out and buy a bunch of uh, tools and products and stuff when you can use maybe what you have around your house all right so let's go ahead and get started I'm just dipping my brush into my water and I'm just going to go for a color. I have no idea. I'm just dipping it in and I'm going to go for a color here. So I'm just going to start off laying some color down. I put some more water in my brush. Just kind of pulling it down the page. And maybe a little bit over here as I go. I can then move the paint with my spray. I want to add it so it's not rigid, which really wasn't too rigid to begin with. But just so you know, you can add. You can also add some water in before you add the next color. I'm going to come in here with just a little bit of a, it's kind of like a reddish brown shade. Just put it in some different spots here. And again, since this is an intuitive art piece, I have no idea what I'm doing before I start it. That's the beauty of it. Just create as you go. And pick colors as you go. I'm not sure what colors I'm using beforehand or what shapes I'm making. I'm not worried about that either as I'm creating. It's just something fun to relax and do and allow your mind to, to be kind of just relaxed and see what you end up with. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and I'll be back. All right, so you can see it's a little bit lighter than it started out. So what I'm going to do is take my paintbrush, it has water in it, and I'm just going to go ahead and just add some more in here, just in different spots, just to make it a little bit darker. Come up here, just add some more in. And if you don't like this part, like anything I do when I'm doing a painting, if it's something you don't like and you'd prefer just to leave out, you know, then, then leave it out. It's okay. You don't have to do exactly as I do. Definitely don't have to do exactly like I do. All right, let's go over here. A little bit of yellow in here. Just kind of mixing it in a little bit. 
in here and do the same thing. And if you want to, I'm going to come in here and grab some green and just lay it in here a little bit too with it. And if you want, you can actually give it a little sprit so the edges are not real rigid and hit it in different directions like that. Okay. Then if you want, if you like it like this, then leave it like this. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple spots of rubbing alcohol in different spots and let it dry and then I'll be back. Alright, so I cheated and I did my uh, oh my heat gun on this. So just so you know, I didn't just let it sit and dry because I'm doing the video. I wanted to get from start to finish with this video. I'm gonna go ahead. I have a set of metallic watercolor paints here too. Again, I apologize. I'm not even sure what the name of this paint is. I've had it for a long time and just started to recently use it so I don't even know the name of the product that's why I say you can actually use stuff you have on hand but I'm going to go ahead and go in here where I put some drops of rubbing alcohol and do a little gold on them And I'm not using a lot of water, but I, you know, I do have to do, use some in order to get it to flow. So I'm just kind of looking for different size areas. It doesn't have to all be the same size. Small, big, medium size are good. And just a few. I don't want it to be that I've got a whole paper full. But it's a kind of a nice contrast when you add some metallic to your painting because as you can see this is a flat, just more of a matte type finish. And this way it adds in some shine. Alright, I will be back because my circles have to dry. Alright, so once again I cheated and hit the circles with a heat gun. And I have my uni pen. I'm gonna go ahead. Now you could do. I've seen it done where you have like the the crayons or or whatnot that are watercolor, where you can do it around your circles just to give it more depth. But I'm just gonna use my white little pen. I can start out here and circle around and come in, just going in different directions around this. Or I can start right up to it like I started out and finish out from it. However you want to do it. That's up to you. Alright. So I'll just come over here. And yeah, my paper kind of is uh, coming up. For some reason the tape is not holding it down. But it's actually kind of buckling. Which is fine. Like I said, I'm not I'm doing this just for creative purposes and relaxation. Not for anything more than that. Not to say that if you liked what you did, that you couldn't hang it up because you sure could. Okay. And sometimes you have to kind of wipe the tip of the pen off, especially when you're working on areas that the paint it's kind of dry, but not necessarily because it can come up still. And if you want, you can come further into the gold circle, wind it down. I'm just going to leave it just like that. 
hopefully I can still draw with this. So then what you're going to do is take a look at it and say, hmm, where can I maybe add in some lines or dots or whatnot? So I'm going to go over here, something that kind of hit me with this little bit lighter into the dark. Now I could have just gone on top of the dark, but I'm just going to go like this. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just doing simple lines. And as you can see, it's intuitive painting because I have no idea what I'm ending up with when I'm done. No clue. So I can use this as a marker. Come over here, draw some more lines in here because it's kind of similar in color. Maybe even over in here. There's no wrong or right way to do this, so whatever you choose, that's good. That's up to you. All right, so I did that. Let's see, any other spot that I could, maybe I'll make some dots on some of this. And sometimes with this pen, you can just put it down and it'll dot nicely, and then other times it will not or you can actually create your own dots by doing little circles. You want bigger ones, smaller, however you want to do it. And I just like to go off from it so it's not so rigid. All right, so let's take another look here. You can just leave it all with white or if you want to introduce in, this kind of reminds me of an eyeball here. If you want to introduce uh, black, which I did, that's one reason I brought my black pen. And see what I can add to this with the black pen. And I'm just looking here, and of course feel free to turn your paper as you go. Put these a little closer together. But they're pretty neat. Now I'm going to look at this side and say, hmm, where else can I add? Something because I don't want it just to be in one area. I think I might put some dots here. This is where I say sometimes it works really nicely, and then sometimes it's kind of got a hollow circle. And you just go back in. and add to it. And if you have a thin little brush, you can actually use that to add some gold to this. So unlike the other kind that I've shown you, the last two intuitive pieces you were looking for, uh, like faces or animals, that kind of thing, and I really like that. I can see a lot of things in this one, actually. I'm going to go through here, add some white stripes here. And I'm talking through this one because this is the first time I've done one like this. I do really do plan on just doing them and putting some music on and not talking at all. So I apologize if my talking bothers you, but that's the reason why I'm talking right now is... Make some bigger dots. 
This one looks like an eyeball here to me. Just have it fall down into here a little bit. Could very easily be an animal. Very easy to be an animal. All right, so I have some dots. I think I'm going to switch over to my black. Now, again, if you don't want to, don't, don't. If you don't want to put any black on yours, just leave it with the white. That's fine. I see a little heart here, and I always look for hearts. I love hearts, and so I'm always looking for them. And I can do some little circles here. Almost kind of looks like a little heart there too. I love looking at these and trying to figure out exactly, you know, what do they look like? What am I seeing here? Again, I can put some more lines in here. Maybe in some more lines going this way up in here. Or if you want to do them like this, where you're actually making them look a little bit different than what was in white, you can do that too. And let's see, let's find another spot over here. Let's see, let me do it this way. Now just be creative, you're just doing re repetitive marks. which are kind of fun and it just takes your brain off of what else is going on in the world maybe that's you know you have something that bothers you you know just pull out some paint sit down and start creating that's kind of like the best medicine I think and then if you want to do I'm not sure how well the dots will be but you can do like a stippling motion you know, wherever you want to add some, just some marks. These aren't really dots. It's kind of like little hashes. Or if you want to leave this part out, you know, again, I'm just doing it as I go. Never, I, this is all new. I can kind of see a bird here. That's one thing fun, it's like a lot of these you can see, you can actually see things in it. At least I can. I'm gonna do circles. Very simple circles. And again, you don't have to get carried away with it. I can, I can easily get carried away drawing different designs. And as I showed you in my other videos, if you wanted to use this, this and just go around a lot of the, the, the designs you see in this painting, feel free to do that as well. Again, you just see it just gives it a little bit of life when you add add to it. Now, I do have some. I do have you can get like a thin little. Actually, I might use this. You can get a thin brush. Let's see how this works. I probably should put it on another paper, but I'm going to dip it in here and see if I can put any big dots on here. Let's see how it works. Again, I'm just trying it as I go here, guys. Like I said, that just gives it a little bit of shimmer. And 
And I can come up here if I want to add some more. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Just added a little bit more water to it. Another heart. And throw some over here. Have like that. Then if you have like a little liner brush, really thin one if I can find mine. Oh, it's right here. And this is the Princeton brush also. Let's see what I can do with it. If I can add some gold lines. Sorry if you hear my dog snoring in the background here. I think she was working. But see how fun, I mean, you just see how you just draw it, build it as you go. Create a little bit at a time. See that still? I'm going to do a little bit over here just to kind of balance it out a little bit. Maybe even on this thing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those down below the video. I would love to hear from you. And again, I hope this is not blurry because it was kind of looking blurry to me at first. I don't have to get too carried away with this. I was just gonna do clear down to here and stop. I have that. And any place else that you see that you want to add anything? Just take a look at it. You can turn your page as you go so you can maybe see some other neat areas to put a, a design of some sort. All right. Let's see, whoops, it's not the right one. Come back in here with this. Kind of reminds me of eyelashes. Could make them longer. Kind of remind me of eyelashes. All right, all right, I think I might put a few more in here. I'm going to turn this a little bit and then we'll call it a day because I don't want to get out. Again, this is just giving you some suggestions of things you can do.
make them different sizes. And I like things to be kind of just like randomly looking. I don't like them to be real staged. Kind of like that. And I think you get the gist. At least I hope so. Alright. And there we have it. Again, add as much or as little as you want. You can do like my other ones where I've gone and actually outlined all the different little things that I see. You don't have to, just do it either way. All right, hope you like this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Prior to leaving, if you would hit the share button underneath the video and share this on your social network with your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate that. Until the next time, oops, sorry. Please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.